Hello, Santiago. Welcome back to campus. I understand that you just graduated from University of Miami with a degree in aerospace engineering. Congratulations. I'm hoping you can share some tips and thoughts about your Sagemont experience with some of our current high school students. First off, can you tell us how your time at Sagemont prepared you for the rigorous academic life at University of Miami? I was always fascinated on how Sagemont integrated technology into the classroom. Students were urged to bring their laptops into, into the classroom and uh, do all their homework on them. I'm also very thankful for uh, Sagemont teaching me how to type without looking at the keyboard because I wasn't able to appreciate this skill until I started writing my reports in college and I was devoting my time to the material in the paper and not as much time into writing it. Did you feel that your advanced placement courses gave you a good window into what to expect at the university level? The beauty of the advanced placement courses here at Sagemont is that they're not as much focused on teaching you all the hard material, but uh, teaching you the most amount of material in a short amount of time. Uh, in college, people don't realize that it only lasts for four months, and there's only four months for you to, to learn a whole subject area. And uh, the skills here taught uh, during the AP classes, such as time management, uh, how to study in groups, and uh, also how to study by yourself helped me succeed in, in my college career. That's great. While at Sagemont, do you think your experiences with the extracurricular activities and academics helped give you self a sense of self-confidence? Uh, here at Sagemont, they take pride in your accomplishments. So when you're part of, uh, when you're one out of 200 students and the school is encouraging you to succeed, it, it gives you a sense of self-confidence and, and a rewarding feeling that somebody's noticing your hard work. How did the Sagemont College Guidance Program help you decide to go to UM? Uh, when I was going through my college application process, the guidance counselor was helping me uh, how to successfully apply to all my college options and also how to find the right fit for me. That's great. Santiago, I know you did really well at UM. Can you briefly give our students a piece of advice on what to expect? There's two advice I, I give everybody when they're going into college. The first one being that whatever you decide to study, make sure that you love uh, no matter how hard or, or easy it is because it's what you'll be doing for the rest of your life. And second, uh, if you work hard at it and you apply yourself, you're going to succeed. What are your plans for the future? I know you have uh, quite a few things on your agenda. Uh, I, will be start, I will start my work next week at, uh, at Pratt & Whitney in Connecticut. I will be joining the design and engineering group for the Holo fan blades that are the ones in charge in building one of the components for the jet airplanes, both military and commercial. Wow, that's a great opportunity. Santiago, we're very proud of you and we're so glad to have you as part of our alumni. I hope that you'll stay in touch with us and we're going to be following you to see how uh, you progress throughout the future. And uh, good luck next week with your start at Pratt & Whitney in Connecticut. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much.